Hello, welcome to my class. This video is for class 10 and in this video we are going to discuss some very important MCQs for term 1. These are some of the questions which you can expect for the exam. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and do like the video if you like my class and share it with your friends. Do not forget to click the bell icon to get notifications also. If you have any suggestions about my class, you can write in the comments so that I can improve that. And if you have any questions as doubts, you can write that also so that I can upload that as another video. So with that said, let's get started. And the first question is, area of triangle formed by the lines y equal to x, x equal to 6 and y equal to 0 is. So we can draw the graph like this, x dash, x, y, y dash. And y equal to x. If x equal to 0, y will be 0. x equal to 1, y will be 1 and so on. So y equal to x will be this is 1, 1, this is 2, 2. So, y equal to x will be this line. And x equal to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, x equal to 6 will be this line. That is, it is passing through this 6. And y equal to 0. y equal to 0 is the x-axis. So, we have to find the area of this triangle. Okay, and here this is passing through 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5. And this will be 6, 6. This coordinate will be 6, 6. Okay, so we have to find the area of this triangle. Area of a triangle is equal to half BH, which is equal to half of base is this. That is, it is 6 units. And height is 6. This is 6 units. So, 36 by 2 which is equal to 18 centimeters square is the answer. So, this option is correct. Next one is area of triangle formed by the line 2x plus 3y equal to 12 with the coordinate axis is. So, 2x plus 3y equal to 12. When we, when we substitute the value of x as 0, we will get y as if x equal to 0, y will be 3y equal to 12, so y equal to 4. And if y equal to 0, what will be x? 2x equal to 12, so x equal to 6. So, we can mark like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If x is 0, y is 4. So, this is the point. And, and if x equal to 6, y equal to 0. So, this is. So, this is the line. 2x plus 3y equal to 12. Now, we have to find the area of this. Area is equal to half of bh, which is equal to half of, this is 6, base is 6. And height is 4, 6 into 4, which is 12. 12 square centimeter is the answer. This is the answer. Okay. Next question is if 6x plus 3y equal to c minus 3 and 12x plus cy equal to c has infinitely many solutions, then the value of c is. We know that if a1x plus b1y equal to c1 and if a2x plus b2y equal to c2 has infinitely many solutions, it means that they are coincident. And coincident lines have a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2, which means 6 by 12 is equal to 3 by c is equal to c minus 3 by c. Okay, so we can equate this. 6 by 12 is 1 by 2. 1 by 2 is equal to 3 by c. Which means cross multiplying we will get c equal to 6. So, 6, the value of c is 6. So, this option is correct. Okay, next one is if ax plus by equal to c and px plus qy equal to r has unique solution, then which option is correct? That is a question. So, we know that in, in a pair of linear equations, if they have unique solution means they are intersecting lines, right? And if they have unique solution a1 by 
a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. Unique solution means they are intersecting lines. Okay, and a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2. That is a by p. a by p is not equal to b by q. So, cross multiplying we will get aq is not equal to bp. And that is the answer. aq is not equal to bp. So, option A is correct. Okay. If the system of equations kx minus y minus 2 equal to 0 and 6x minus 2y minus 3 equal to 0 have no solution, then the value of k is equal to. If they have no solution means they are parallel lines. That is a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2. So, a1 by a2 equal to b1 by b2 means k by 6 is equal to and that is not equal to c1 by c2. So, k by 6 is equal to 1 by 2. Which means k equal to 2k equal to 6. That is k equal to 3. So, this option B is correct. k equal to 3 is the correct answer. Okay. This question is from trigonometry. Value of sin square theta plus 1 by 1 plus tan square theta is. The options are 2, 1, 0 and minus 1. This is equal to, what is this? This is the same as sin square theta plus sin square theta plus 1 by 1 plus tan square theta is 6 square theta. And 6 square theta, 1 by 6 square theta is nothing but cos square theta. So, this is equal to sin square theta plus cos square theta and that is equal to 1. So, this option is correct. The option B is correct. Okay. Next one, if sin theta plus cos theta equal to root 3, then tan theta plus cot theta equal to. We have to find the value of tan theta plus cot theta. Tan theta plus cot theta can be written as, in terms of sin theta and cos theta, it can be written as sin theta by cos theta. Because tan theta is sin theta by cos theta. Cos theta cot theta is cos theta by sin theta. So, when you add this, that is you have to take the LCM. Sin square theta and plus cos square theta by sin theta cos theta. So, this is equal to 1 by sin theta cos theta. Now, we have to find the value of sin theta cos theta. We are given sin theta plus cos theta is equal to root 3. Uh, when we square this, we will get square both the sides. We will get sin square theta plus cos square theta plus 2 sin theta cos theta equal to what is square of root 3? It is 3. Right? So, 1 plus 2 sin theta cos theta is equal to 3. Which means 2 sin theta cos theta is equal to 3 minus 1 which is 2. That is sin theta cos theta is equal to 2 by 2 which is 1. So, this is equal to 1 by 1 which is equal to 1. So, this option C is correct. Okay. Next one is a number x is chosen at random from the numbers minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and 3. What is the probability that the chosen number is uh, such that x square is less than or equal to 4? And the options are 1 by 7, 4 by 7, 5 by 7 and 3 by 7. Okay. So, x square less than or equal to 4. What all numbers can we choose? Minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and 3 we cannot. Because uh, minus 2 square is 4. It is less than or equal to. So, it can be 4 also. Minus 1 square is 1, 0 square 0, 1 square 1, 2 square 4. So, uh, these 5 numbers we can choose. So, 5 by total number of outcomes is 7. 7 numbers are there. So, 5 by 7 is the answer. So, this option is correct. Okay. Next one. Value of A so that point 3A lies on the line represented by 2x minus 3y equal to 5 is. 3A. Point 3A lies on this line. Okay. Substitute x as this. So, 2 into 3 minus 3 into y coordinate is A. So, 3 into A is equal to 5. 
which means 6 minus 3a is equal to 5. That is minus 3a equal to 5 minus 6 that is minus 1. So a equal to 1 by 3 is the answer. This option is correct. Option A is correct. Okay. Next one is half the perimeter of a rectangular garden whose length is 4 meter more than its width is 36 meter. Area of the garden is half the perimeter of a rectangular garden. Length is 4 meter more than width. So let L be the length and uh, B be the breadth. Length is 4 meter more than breadth. Okay. And half the perimeter. Half the perimeter is Perimeter is 2 into L plus B. Right? So, 2 into L plus B. Half of that, that is by 2, is equal to 36 meter. And given that L is equal to 4 plus B. So, this and this get cancelled. So, 4 plus B plus B is equal to 36 which means 4 plus 2B is equal to 36. That is 2B equal to 36 minus 4, which is equal to 32. So, B is equal to 16. So, B is equal to 16 meter. Now, area of the garden is L into B. That is, L is 4 plus B. So, L is equal to 16 plus 4, which is 20. So, area is equal to 20 into 16, which is 16 into 2 is 32 and 0. 32 meter square is the area of this rectangular garden. So, this option B is correct. Okay, next one. If the distance between points P minus 5 and 2, 7 is 13 units, value of P is. So, distance is 13 units, that is root of P minus 2 the whole square plus minus 5 minus 7 the whole square is equal to 13, 13 right? Now, uh, if we square this, we will get P minus 2 the whole square plus minus 5 minus 7 is minus 12 the whole square is equal to 13 square. That is 169. So, P square minus 4 P plus 4 plus 144 is equal to 169. So, P square minus 4P plus 148 is equal to 169, which means P square minus 4P minus 21 is equal to 0. So, P minus 7 into P plus 3 is equal to 0, which means P equal to 7 and minus 3. So, P equal to 7 and minus 3. So, this option A is correct. Okay. Next one is, if the point P, X, Y is equidistant from A, 5, 1 and B minus 1, 5, then 3X equal to 2, Y, 3X equal to minus 2, Y, 2X equal to 3, Y and minus 2X equal to 3, Y. Which option is correct? So, uh, this is equidistant means root of x minus 5 the whole square plus y minus 1 the whole square is equal to root of x plus 1. Minus of minus 1 is plus 1. So, x plus 1 the whole square plus y minus 5 the whole square. When we square uh, both sides, we will get x minus 5 the whole square plus y minus 1 the whole square is equal to x plus 1 the whole square plus y minus 5 the whole square. Okay, so x square minus 10x plus 25 plus y square minus 2y plus 1 is equal to x square plus 2x plus 1 plus y square minus 10y plus 25. So this x square and y square will get cancelled and this 25 and this 25 will get cancelled. And here minus 10x minus this plus 2x can be uh, brought here. So minus 10x plus minus 2x is minus 12x. And this minus 2y plus 10y is plus 8y. And here so we have taken these 
now 1 and 1 so this is equal to 0 okay so minus 12x is equal to minus 8y which means when we divide both by minus 4 we will get 3x equal to 2y so this option 3x equal to 2y is correct next is diameter of a wheel is 84 centimeter number of revolutions to cover 792 meters is diameter is 84 centimeter so radius is equal to 42 centimeter and to cover 792 meters we have to convert this to centimeter because this is in centimeter so um, distance to cover 792 meters means distance is equal to 792 into 100 that is 79200 centimeter okay and number of revolutions is given as distance by circumference so this is equal to 79200 by 2 into 22 by 7 2 pi up right so 2 into 22 by 7 into 42 and 7 will go in 42 6 times and 11 will go in 22 2 times 11 will go in 792 uh, 72 times okay so we got this as 7200 0 by 12 into 2 this is 12 so 12 will go in 72 6 times so we got this as 600 by 2 which is equal to 300 so option b is correct Next one, sides of a triangle are in the ratio 12 is to 14 is to 25 and its perimeter is 25.5 cm. Length of the largest side of the triangle is. Options are 18 cm, 12.5 cm, 14 cm and 7 cm. First side is 12x, second side 14x and 25x. Sides are in the ratio 12 is to 14 is to 25. So let the sides be 12x, 14x and 25x. And perimeter that is this added together is equal to 25.5. Perimeter is A plus B plus C. If A is the uh, first side, B second side and C third side. A plus B plus C is equal to 25.5. So we have to find the largest side. If we add this we will get 26x plus 25x that is 51 51x is equal to 25.5 so x is equal to 25.5 by 51 which is equal to 1 by 2 right so x equal to 1 by 2 which means largest side is 25 into 1 by 2 which is equal to 12.5 so the length of the largest side is 12.5 cm. Option B is correct. Next one is each side of an equilateral triangle is 8 cm. Area of the triangle is. We know that area of an equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 a square where a is the side of the triangle and all the sides are equal. So this is equal to root 3 by 4 into 64. 8 square is 64. That is a uh, is 8. So root 3 by 4 into 64. 4 will go in 64, 16 times. So, this is equal to 16 root 3 centimeter square. So, uh, option A is correct. Area of a triangle is 4 root 3 centimeter square. Perimeter of the triangle is. So, area is 4 root 3 means root 3 by 4 a square is equal to 4 root 3. And a square is equal to 4 root 3 into 4 by root 3 which is equal to 16. So, a square equal to 16 means a is equal to 4. So, uh, length of one side is 4 centimeter. So, what is the perimeter? 4 into 3 which is equal to 12 centimeters. With this, I am winding up this video. I will be uploading some more questions in the next video. So, stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And please do share with your friends also. Thank you and bye.